the Toyota brand has some kind of magic about it, wouldn't you agree? Mention the name Toyota and immediately thoughts of reliability, practicality, value for money and a great drive all come to mind. This year, Toyota continues to create these same feelings in the local motoring public with its latest offering, an A-segment micro hatchback that aims to shake up the current auto market. What is it called? I won't tell you just yet, but before we go into the video segment, I will leave you with this promising young car's tagline. We go easy. When launching brand new vehicles, Toyota is known in the country as a brand that pulls all the stops. For the launch of their latest offering, the diminutive A-segment micro hatchback, WeGo, Toyota Motor Philippines spared no expenses and flew a group of motoring journalists to the Queen City of the South, Cebu, to take part in a grand launch event. Arriving in Cebu, the group first made a stop at the newly opened Toyota Mandawe, a large dealership and facility that is poised to create a large market impact in the region. Featuring a large showroom area, a modern and state-of-the-art garage and service bay, and several customer amenities, Toyota Mandawa is primed for great things. We uh, inaugurated this last year, uh, March. Uh, the operations went, is going on for about one year already. Uh, this is the third of three outlets in Cebu. The whole building is uh, 25,000 square meters on a one hectare lot. So uh, we have eight cars on display and uh, we are uh, capable of servicing express maintenance, uh, light repairs uh, and heavy repairs also for body and paint. Yeah, we'd like to invite everyone to watch the new products that Toyota Motor Philippines is offering. We are not only ready to serve you in your vehicle requirements, but we are also um, capable in servicing your maintenance and repair needs. We have full capacity and we have full capability to serve you. Following the visit to Toyota Mandawe, the group retired to their hotel in preparation for the WeGo's grand launch. And let us tell you, the event was truly a grand one. Led by Toyota executives, the ceremony was peppered with speeches and AVPs, creating anxiousness in the audience. The WeGo was finally unveiled after a very elaborate dance number to the delight of the members of the motoring media. This segment is very promising. Uh, when motorization starts in any country, uh, it starts from this segment. We call it A segment. So we decided to come up with a, a vehicle uh, in this segment, uh, first entry for Toyota. Uh, I hope it will create a big impact in the automotive industry in terms of market growth. Uh, we just introduced the uh, WeGo, it's the most affordable Toyota lineup. So please visit your nearest dealer and I hope, I think you are, uh, you love it. This is the only segment we're not participating in, number one. Number two, there is a demand for low-cost, affordable cars. But, but we come in as a Toyota. So it's not only affordable, but it's a brand name Toyota that you can trust. It's a car with utmost features in it, huh? all the features that you want. For the target market, the younger generation, you know, you have a high-end uh, radio, where you, it's a touch screen, and you have the USB, Bluetooth capability, and, and all that. It's very roomy, uh, it's very spacious, and uh, it's very safe. We have the Toyota badge, um, Toyota badge of quality and safety. So. Definitely, that's what consumers know. So, we're very, very confident about it. Taking the WeGo launch event to an even higher level, Toyota Motor Philippines had the one and only concert king, Martin Nevera, along with Asia songbird, Regine Velasquez, to serenade the audience. Not to be outdone, however, Toyota Motor Philippines' very own Michinobu Sugata got up on the mic and belted out a very energetic, money can't buy me love. It was a great time for all. You know, this is a car with the quality and value all Toyota customers deserve. So this is a Toyota in a smaller package. But it's a very good vehicle, I tried it myself, and really there's a good driving uh, experience, really fun to drive, nice maneuverability stability, and really it's quite uh, enjoyable to drive. Like the tagline says, it's easy to enjoy, easy to drive, and easy to own. So I guess that explains everything about the car. 
all the grandstanding and the fanfare make for an interesting contrast, considering all of this was done to promote such a tiny car. This perhaps is a testament to how big an impact the Wego will have on the local market. And some of our friends from the motoring media do indeed agree. Let's hear some of their testimonials for the new Toyota Wego. The pricing is really uh, spot on. The specifications uh, from what I've seen good for the pricing and I'm sure there is a market out there waiting for this car. Uh, it has the potential to become the market leader in that segment. This thing is going to give the small car segments the biggest problem they ever had for a while now. Hyundai i10, the Mitsubishi Mirage G4 and the Suzuki Alto has been lording it over but with the entry of the Wigo I think they're going to have really really big problems. The launch of uh, this new Wigo promises to excite the subcompact segment of the domestic car industry. Well, judging from the pricing, it's going to be a cutthroat segment for all the parties involved from the Mirage, the Suzuki Alto to everybody. This will definitely throw a monkey wrench into the segment. The Wego is surely positioned as a car that will create lots of buzz in those who are interested in buying a small car that can save on fuel costs. It's fun to drive, has a trendy style, and is not hard in the pocket in terms of actual price. That it comes in three different variants also makes it accessible to many markets, either as a new car for the younger set or as fleet cars for several businesses. The Wego has the potential to be that great and that versatile. We congratulate Toyota Motor Philippines on the launch of the Wego here in the country and look forward to how it will perform in the local car market. And on a closing note, Sugata-san, I didn't know you loved the Beatles and could sing so energetically. We should all go karaoke one of these days. Cheers!